AirPods. These things are very, very dangerous. Be careful with these. Oh. Yo, what is up guys? It's Rich. Welcome back to the channel. Now, with school right around the corner, I've compiled a list of some backpack essentials that I think everyone, including you, should be carrying in your bag. And I know everyone's situation is different. Some of you guys may be art students, some of you may be engineers, health students, athletes, YouTubers. But anyways, the contents I'll list in the videos are generally important for the everyday person, especially in school. So I'll briefly explain each item. I'll go over why I think it's important, why you need it. But let's get right into the video. Number one, the first thing you should be packing in your backpack is a laptop. Now, this is a given. I'm sure most of you might already know this, but invest in a good laptop and always pack it with you everywhere. Laptops are pretty much crucial for today's learning. I mean, everything you do from school is gonna be on the computer, like homework assignments, you're gonna be talking to your professors, you're gonna be talking to your friends, you're gonna use Google to find everything. You need Chegg, Quizlet. I recommend getting a good and great reliable laptop like the Surface Book 2, which I have here, or the MacBooks, any of the Pros or the Air series are great. You can check out some of my reviews down in the description below. Invest in a really great laptop and try to take care of it. So the next item on the list are pens and pencils. Now look, they're still useful for taking notes in class and making notes in general. Look, chances are future tests and quizzes are gonna be on pen and paper. And I'm probably sure you heard that studies show that writing down notes on notepad stick better in our brain than actually doing it on a computer device. So, I mean, just bring these just in case all right you can buy like these big pencils you can buy a pack of these 24s for like two bucks and uh, my favorite are the pilot g2 pens these things are cheap reliable and the ink is amazing they glide really easy on paper but if you don't want those i mean just pack your favorite pens and pencils i mean it's up to you number three is pack some tissues or some papers now who knows if you get cold maybe you get sick allergies what if you spill water on something what if water spills on you who knows just pack a small box of tissues or those little small bags really useful for a lot of things i'll tell you a quick little story one time i was actually going to my class and i was late i was late because i was actually getting Getting a little bit sick and my nose was running like every second and then my roommate spontaneously out of nowhere offered me his whole box of tissue which he just pulled out of his backpack quite honestly that day he saved me and i won't forget it anyways the fourth thing you should pack in your backpack is a notebook now this goes back to pens and pencils just bring a notebook with you just in case you can literally find these for like 50 cents at your local walmart just bring them reusable water bottles are right, next get yourself a good reusable water bottles hydration is key you need to drink a lot of water okay i sound like a dad by telling you this but water is important okay all right drink water so your mouth doesn't get dry drink water so you get more energy throughout the day everyone needs to drink their water in fact i need to drink some right now Next item is mint or gum. Pack a pack of gum with you. Or if you don't, just get some Listerine like mouth spray. You never know if you're gonna be running out the door late or maybe you just finished eating some chicken Alfredo pasta and your mouth smells like shit. Don't be that person. So bring gum if you're bored in class to chew or something to freshen up your breath. All right, the next thing is chapstick. Pack chapstick. Lubricate your lips, make them look good. I mean, who knows? Maybe you're walking through campus and you see your crush and then you go in for a kiss and all they feel is crust. Now, if you live in like the northern regions where the climate's really cold, sometimes and dry i mean this is bound to happen a lot so bring chapstick with you everywhere all right next thing to pack is like hats or sunglasses they're good for really hot sunny days and if you're walking through campus at like 12 at noon where the sun rays are literally roasting your eyes put the sunglasses on thank me later the next thing to pack is a small first aid kit you don't have to necessarily get something as big as this i actually carry something a little bit smaller pack maybe a neosporin or some band-aids just in case because you never know what could happen in life just simple stuff to be prepared also i recommend packing some ibuprofen and like Advils. Those are really help a lot if you have headaches or any fevers. So yeah, um, I might just make a video of what I pack in my first aid kit. If you guys want to see a video about that, leave a comment down below and I might just do it. All right, and then going on to the chargers. This is the digital era. You're going to need to power things. Number one, the most obvious is bring your laptop charger with you everywhere. Okay, this is actually very important. If there's one thing you can take away from this video, it's to bring it everywhere. There's been a lot of times where I showed up to class and my computer was just straight up dead. And I thank myself for bringing the charger because I've I didn't that I miss that whole class and time is precious as for your phone um, always bring a phone charger with you everywhere iPhone Android and in addition bring yourself a rechargeable power bank like I have here this one I have from anchor it's 13,000 milliamps it packs a serious punch it can charge my iPhone 7 plus 
up to five times to 100%. It's great, it's thin, it's light, and it's really clean. Um, get one of these. All right, the next item on the list is a mouse. They could be wireless, they could be wired. Wireless is better in my opinion. I have the Razer Death Adder Essential. I pack this everywhere with me. It's really light and I just can plug it into my laptop anytime. Now, if you're gonna be working on your laptop for long periods of time, um, I don't know, personally for me, having my finger do all the work on the keypad just, just, just makes it numb. So bring a mouse because it's gonna help you a lot for those long study sessions and whatnot. Next up is earphones, especially AirPods. They're great for walking down campus or maybe if you finished up the test and you just wanna listen to some jams. Really great to up up the mood wherever you are. And if you're an anti-social person, you can just plug these in and just walk through and don't mind anything. So these are very important. Pack some earphones. Number 14 is some type of self-defense item. Now this is purely optional, but I tend to carry a flashlight with me like I have here. It's really great at nighttime when I need to try and find something that my iPhone flashlight can't do. I mean, this thing is really, really bright. Okay, like you can see like, it's just lighting up a lot of things. Also, if you're walking through campus at nighttime, these things are actually really great for self-defense because they can blind the other person. And they also have some ridges here, which you can use for attacking. Who knows? If not a flashlight, I mean, you can bring a mace slash pepper spray. I know a lot of girls carry these. These things are very, very dangerous. Be careful with these. Oh yeah, so for my girl viewers out there, you probably already know this, but bring one of these. And the final item you should bring in your backpack, which I think is very important, is confidence. Pack confidence in your backpack, all right? Stand up straighter. Offer some of the things in your backpack if you can. Maybe help out your friend, like give them a tissue, like mine did. If their phone battery is low, offer to charge. Help them out, build relationships, because in time, if they're a good person, they're gonna remember the stuff that you did for them, and they're gonna give back to you. And overall, college and school is kind of what you make of it, so, you know, it kind of does sound cheesy, but confidence is probably the biggest thing you can, like, carry with yourself. I mean, you carry it throughout the rest of your life. And my goal for each of my viewers here is to feel confident in what they have, appreciate the items they got, and how they can use that to help themselves and help others. I know there has been a lot of times in school where I actually needed a lot of things from different people, and a lot of people helped me out. My friends did. They offered me, you know, full charges. They gave me their, you know, laptop for a day. It just feels good to give back. So those are the things I believe you should carry in your backpack at all times. And like I said, there are tons of different students out there. So if you're an engineer, you might need to carry like a TI-84 Plus with you. If you're like an art student, you might need to carry like paint brushes, you know, I don't know, cameras, this and that. But essentially, these are the general stuff that I think everyone should carry. And I hope you find that video useful. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, like EDC, everyday carry, college stuff, uh, leave a comment down below because I'm definitely interested and I want to make videos like this because I'm about to start my junior year in school and we're going to be back on campus, which is very, very refreshing after a whole year long of online learning. So let me know down in the comments below. I'm also thinking about making a video with some everyday tech essentials so just drop some ideas you know leave a comment down below say hi if you want to say hi uh, i reply to each and every one of your comments so yeah that's all i got for today's video so until next time guys i will see you then peace